Well, good morning, everybody, and welcome to my service this morning. Praise the Lord, says Psalm 111. I will extol the Lord with all my heart, in the counsel of the upright and in the assembly. Great are the works of the Lord. They are pondered by all who delight in them. Glorious and, majest glorious and majestic are his deeds, and his righteousness endures forever. He has caused his wonders to be remembered. The Lord is gracious and compassionate. He provides food for those who fear him. He remembers his covenant forever. He has shown his people the power of his works, giving them the lands of other nations. The work of his hands are faithful and just. All his precepts are trustworthy. They are steadfast forever and ever, done in faithfulness and of righteousness. He provided redemption for his people. He ordained his covenant forever, holy and awesome to his name. The fear of the Lord is the beginning of wisdom. All who follow his precepts have good understanding. To him belongs eternal praise. Thanks be to God for his word. And my text for today is taken from Luke, chapter 22, verse 19. A very familiar reading, this. This is my body broken for you. Do this in remembrance of me. We're in the season of remembrance and remembering some and remembering. Sunday, we remembered the fallen in active service. We also remembered everyone serving on the front line of our military. All involved in the NHS, fire and police officers, everyone who is fighting COVID-19. The poppy is a symbol of remembrance. We wear red poppies for those who died in action. Some wear white poppies for those who felt they could not go to war because of religious and other very valid reasons. You know, it's so easy to judge people and condemn without always understanding the reasons behind everyone's actions. Remember, we have to remove the plank in our own eye before we judge others. God is our judge and we should leave judgment to him. My God is a great big God who understands our motives and will help us through the many grey areas of our lives. The poppy not only acts as a reminder of the futility of fighting, but also of the bravery of people who laid down their lives defending others. It gives us all a special time to reflect on the things of the past on the things present and how God can use each of us committed to serve his son Jesus with the Holy Spirit working through us to rebuild the broken world. And we need artifacts to remind us of what God requires from us. I'd like to share some of mine artifacts that remind me of my Christian life of service and how God has always been with me. My very small book of common prayer, whose writing I can't read anymore, it's far too small, <laughs> reminds me of my Christian Auntie Mary, who gave me this when I was seven years old. I used it when I went with Daddy to my village church every Sunday morning until I left college. I remember the whole family having to bring their own prayer books on Easter Sunday as there was never enough prayer books to go around and the church was always packed. At the age of 15, when I decided to give my life to Jesus and serve him for the rest of my life, I was given a picture of Jesus in a frame that once held a picture of a pop star. It was given to me by the minister who ran our youth fellowship on a Sunday night after church. It's always taken pride of place in every bedroom throughout my life. It's still there today. 
and it reminds me daily of that act of commitment to the service of him. My preacher's Bible and silver cross remind me of the words, to whom much has been given, much will be required. My call to preach in 1975 in the Methodist Church were those words. God had already guided me through a very turbulent time as both my parents had passed away by the time I was 27. Later, I rejoined the Church of England as my husband changed from being a Methodist minister to an Anglican priest. Now I was given my bishop's licence to become a reader. My blue preaching scarf and silver and blue badge all remind me of my commitment to call and call to preach. Last year, I received my commission to serve our parish here as another chaplain. The badge and certificate remind me of my particular role as pastor to the seniors, to those who are ageing and to those suffering from dementia and Alzheimer's. The telephone and the iPad are also very important to me as these are used in my present day ministry. The telephone to contact people who are self-isolating or who are housebound and the iPad to research my talks, write them, record them and then send them to Tim who puts them on YouTube and Facebook. Technology and delivery has changed but the gospel of the redeeming love of God has never changed. The world's become smaller, some have become more affluent some have become poor. Some enjoy good health, whilst others do not. God still needs to work through each of us if he's going to redeem the world. Everything is moving so quickly. Perhaps time is getting shorter for us as we're all getting older. Nearer to the time when we'll leave this physical body to exchange it the eternal spiritual body. Well, I'm going to set you a challenge today. I'd like you now to make a list of your artefacts that actually define your life. You see, you may need them to jog your memories. Look at the object or photo as it reminds you of a time when God has been with you in a very special way. When God came alongside you, when you were despairing, but you know, you came through. Did someone give you a holding cross to remind you of Jesus' presence with you? Where is it? Search it out. Mine's always very near at hand. We need every reminder of God to help us through this terrible Covid era. Every week we celebrate the memorial of Christ's death and passion as we receive the Holy Communion, virtually again because of lockdown. Praise and thank God for Tim, who takes it on our behalf. It's wonderful that, isn't it? Remember, God is always near us. We are the ones who move, not him. Unbend our stiff necks and return to him with a humble and obedient heart. Amen. Let us all pray. Father God, it appears that Covid has hit Tunbridge and Hildenborough and it's frightening and it makes our isolation feel even worse. Please reassure us all with the knowledge that whatever happens to us we shall be safe in your ever-loving arms and that you will bring us into your wonderful kingdom when the time is right. Amen. Well, God bless you all and keep praising, keep safe and see you all next week. Bye.